Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is my little mic. And today we're talking about digital accessibility and how the digital world is holding many people back. The social model of disability states that it is not someone's impairment that disables them, but the barriers created by society. Such barriers exist in the physical and digital world. Research found, for example, that people with disabilities are 50% more likely to face barriers to accessing online services than people who do not have disabilities, which worsens existing inequalities. That lack of access is exacerbated by monetary concerns. Not only are people with disabilities paid less than non-disabled people, but additional barriers are created by the expense of assistive tech. The UN Roundtable on Digital Inclusion found that digital accessibility can be improved by legislators, policymakers, information and communication technology providers, platform creators and other stakeholders. But at present we are witnessing little action. Organisations are not doing enough. And that includes charities. Consider that, according to the recent Charity Digital Skills Report, 42% of charities have not considered accessibility in the act of providing products and services. So, what needs to change? The Disability Equality Charity Scope encourages all organisations to embed accessibility in working practices and processes shifting attitudes towards digital inclusion. You can also check out AbilityNet services which help charities reach people with disabilities, provide information on how charities can become disability-inclusive workplaces and support those with disabilities to use digital technology. These are examples of charities leading the way but all of us must join in too. Accessibility is a right, and that right extends to the digital world. As Tim Berners-Lee, the man who invented the internet, stated, the power of the web is in its universality. Access by everyone, regardless of disability, is an essential aspect. Check out our Digital Inclusion Hub for more help reaching across the digital divide.